I feel uh, I don't have many words for how I feel, but I think it's been a very good experience. Um, you know, this is something you dream of, especially as a child, you know. Um, we grew up being told how 96 was, um, how 98 was, and how good the players were. And for us to experience such a tournament, um, to actually play in it, to come back from how we started, you know, it's a, it's a very good feeling, um, very good group of guys um, that we have here. Um, not only good players, but good human beings. Uh, so yeah, I just feel so so good to be a part of it. Um, obviously, wanted to go all the way, but you know, even receiving that bronze medal just shows the the type of um, players that we have. Um, you know, against all odds, to go against all odds and come out third in such a difficult competition, just um, it's just a good feeling. Um, so I think it will give us also good motivation going into the second half of the season. Obviously, we know at Sundowns that we have the CAF Champions League coming up. Um, so it's going to give us a good motivation to know that, you know, we're respected um, for what we did in this tournament. And hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll achieve even bigger things, you know, from the experience that we got during this tournament. Yeah, it's been a benefit for us, um, not only coming into the tournament, you know. Um, I think we've all participated in the Champions League and we know what it's like, you know, from the hostility to the pressures that it comes with. So um, the CAF just added to that experience. Um, so I think it will give us good motivation um, going forward, um, especially in the Champions League, to know that um, we're well respected. But it's also going to ask and demand a lot from us because it's it's going to need us to step up from where we left off here in the um in the F, in the Fcon so yeah it's it's a good pressure but the pressure that allows us to to also grow you know i think to also just get better but to also not sleep on the on the laurels because we know we've reached the semi finals but we know why uh, what we want in the cap champions league so going to give us good motivation going forward to, to go for it, you know. I think it's very honest. Uh, he doesn't beat around the bush, uh, but he also gives us our freedom. Uh, which is a good thing. You know, I think we've been in camp for over a month, but it didn't feel like we were away from home you know, um, as much as we're in the Ivory Coast. So I think that's just one of the qualities outside of football that he possesses. Um, he allows us to be free, feel free, um, to express ourselves, especially on the field. You know, He knows what we're capable of, um, and he, he asks for us to just give him, you know, what we're, what we're good at. He doesn't ask us to complicate a lot of things. Um, so he instills that confidence in us, um, I think, which is a good thing. Um, and I think it's gotten us this far, you know. So I could relate to what uh, Tebzo was saying. I think it was business as usual, uh, but you know, when you go against good players, um, you always try to prove yourself against them just to see where you are, you know, the level that you're at. And I think it just 
it's just a good experience for me. Um, felt good to to know that you know we're not really far off. Um, I think we could we can hold ourselves in in high regard because we we held our own against them. You know these are people that we watch weekly, especially in the Champions League and all these things. But you also get to realize that. Um, Maybe all we needed was also an opportunity to go against them, you know, to see where we are with them. And, you know, as South Africans, I think we could be really proud of ourselves and to know that, you know what, we're not really far off. Um, our job is just to keep showing up because, you know, one day things will change because we all dream to play um, out in Europe, um, you know, and it's really, really possible, you know. Um, I think the AFCON showed that. I mean, it's just about us believing in ourselves and, you know, uh, waiting for that chance to come and when it comes to just grab it with both hands. But I think we're, we're all capable, you know, um, and we could really be proud of our efforts. But looking at what happened, Individually, you were not. Did you, in your heart of heart, really think that you'll be picking your bag, going home, uh, and also taking a bronze medal? You really think that you can. To be honest, um, when we got into this tournament, the biggest thing we wanted to achieve was getting out of the group stages, you know. Um, but even being in the group stages, we then realized that, you know what, this thing is possible. Um, I think let's just take it game by game and see where it takes us. So during the group stages, I think the mentality of the boys all changed, you know, because we, we saw an opportunity to to do something special um, within this tournament. And um, I think the game against Namibia also gave us motivation to say, you know what, now it's all in our hands. Um, we can go as far as we want to go, um, and it's dependent on us. Um, and that was the good thing with this group, because we, we were motivated. Um, we fought for each other. Um, we were there for, for each other, you know. And yeah, I think even getting out of the group stages, obviously, which was the toughest thing, you know, but when we got out and we realized there was Morocco, you know, the motivation that we beat them, you know, uh, I think it was in November when we played them, um, it gave us extra motivation to say, you know what, we can do this, no matter if they Africa's number one, you know, uh, this is our chance to show them, you know, on the big stage that we're capable. And yeah, it was just a belief with the boys and we wanted to go as far as possible, you know, um, and when we got out the group stages, we realized that, you know, what, this thing is all in our hands, it's all in our minds, and yeah, let's just keep going, for, be there for one another, and just um, go as a collective, you know, and see where this thing takes us. Um, so yeah, we were quite motivated, to be honest, and we believed in each other. That was the, the positive thing. That's a question for my side, friend. Um, you take it from it. Yeah, I think Ronan, you know, has always been a top keeper. Uh, I think we started together in 2011 at Supersports, you know. Coach Gavin gave us both a chance. And I think he's just held on to it ever since, you know. Um, and it's good that he's getting his flowers now. Sometimes it takes time. But Ronan's always been a top keeper. Um, I've always held him in high regard. Um, he's also a good human being. You know, he's always been there. But I think this tournament just showed the best of Ronan, you know, um, he's a leader, true leader, born leader, because he talks from the back, you know, he helps all the centre backs, especially his back four, you know, as long as it's organised, I think everything else um, falls into play. 
So yeah, it's just good that um, he's been given his flowers, uh, well deserved, um, especially considering where, he's, where he comes from, especially with the national team. You know, uh, we've we as players have always known that Ron has the capabilities, you know, to be up there with the best, and to do it at such a prestigious tournament, you know, was something else. And we're all just happy for him, you know, because it's well deserved. He worked so hard. Um, to be where he is, you know, a very coachable player, uh, someone you take a lot from because he's always willing to learn, always willing to improve, you know, even at his age, you know. Um, no one's ever really giving him that proper chance, you know, to be up there, you know, and for him to defy the odds and be the best in the continent, you know, just speaks for itself. You know, we're really just proud of him, uh, proud to be led by him. And yeah, we can only hope that he No, but you know, um, it just shows how proud she is of her son. You know, um, I always call her Mkokoto because you know she's just been my rock man. Um, she's the only person that's ever bought me soccer boots. First person to believe in me um, and allow me to chase my dreams. You know, she, the only thing she wanted from me was to finish school because all her siblings, um, you know, struggled to finish school. Um, so yeah, she's always been in my corner, always been my number one supporter, you know, and I always cherish her. I always try and make her proud. And yeah, she's just been my rock, man. Uh, you know, I run, of, I run out of words to kind of describe my relationship with her, you know. Uh, as much as it looks good, camera and stuff, you know, we're always fighting. Uh, but it's because she always wants the best of me and the best from me. So yeah, I'm just happy that she was happy, you know. I know she told all her colleagues, not what, my son, my son. But, you know, it's just good um, that, you know, one is able to show her that, you know what, um, all the belief that you've shown me throughout the years, um, this is what it, it has come to. And yeah, I'm just happy that she's happy and proud of me. Um, she's been calling me every day. You know, um, just saying, you know, like, you guys can actually do this. You guys are making us proud. And it's good to hear that because she started this whole journey with me. Um, and for her to see her, you know, on the continental stage, you know, doing my thing, you know, I think she realizes that all the sacrifices that she's done for me, you know, have um, actually paid off. Thank you for the time. I just talked with I think it just all stems down to hard work, you know. Uh, now, me personally, I think I've been written off quite a few times uh, in my career, you know. I think I've been playing professionally now for like 13 years or so. so been written off quite a few times, but it's always about, you know, defying the odds, you know, um, working for what you want, knowing what you want, but also believing in, in what you can achieve. So I think it just all boils down to hard work um, and always, you know, understanding that, you know, your purpose came before anyone else's opinion. So we're just living out our purposes, um, giving our best. And yeah, you know, the Lord has been good to us. Um, he's given us a platform to go experience such a, a beautiful um, tournament such as the AFCON, you know, and to do well in it, you know. And for us, it was just to grab it with both hands and appreciate the opportunity, but also to make use of the opportunity. So we're just really just grateful for it. And uh, hopefully it doesn't stop here, you know, and 
yeah, the blessings just keep pouring down. Uh, a large part of this time, we know the team is consists of a lot of summer players, but you, um, Ronwin, and Deborah have been in the I don't know if someone wants to be guys, but a lot of that developmental time is in at Supersport. Um, what, what is it about them and developing players and, and, and bringing them up to, to, to a higher level in South African football uh, to, to, to the point where you guys are now the third best team in Africa? Yeah, I think Supersport has always been known for bringing out um, good players. You know, uh, a lot, uh, a large majority of the top players, you know, in the PSL history, if you look, you know, come from the Supersport Academy of, or have been part of Supersport, um, you know, which is a good thing. And we're forever grateful, you know, to people like Stan, um, Stan Matthews because he, he afforded us the opportunity um, he always believed in youngsters, um, especially if he saw something in you, you know. He made it possible for you to to go become whatever you can become, you know. And it's obviously a good thing because we've had good relationships in super sports, you know. And to carry that on to our next teams, which was Sundowns, and to also carry it on for the national team, you know, was was something special. Um, but we've always had a good relationship from super sports. Um, the super sport days so to come here you know it wasn't so much foreign to us um, yeah so it also kind of helped the national team because um, the relationship the cohesion was there we understood each other um, and you we all knew what we were fighting for so yeah it was a good thing thank you